that I had a gut feeling about this. That uh, term means a lot. Mm. And the brain gut connection as well. So, you know, we know that it's bi-directional, that's for sure. How interesting it is that that highway, bi-directional yeah. highway, is bringing unique things from the gut, actual physical things, not just electrical signals right. are making their way to mm -hmm. the brain, like a protein called uh, alpha-synuclein. The brain and your thoughts influence what's going on in the gut, the secretion of the hormones. And we know that, for example, corticosteroids that your sure. body will create in response to stress has a dramatic effect on the functionality of the gut bacteria, the chemicals that they uh, produce, the short-chain mm -hmm. fatty acids, their role in shoring up the gut barrier that when it becomes dysfunctional, sets the stage for Alzheimer's disease. When I think about that gut-brain connection, another thing I did in surgery a lot was vagotomies. I can't believe we used to do that, but it was the only way to treat like a ulcer in the stomach. And yeah. you think of the vagus nerve and the incredible implication, the amount of signals going through the nerve, which 90% of the signal I think goes from the gut to the brain. And we would just cut that. In.